Once upon a time, in the days of Quake, games used to be um, quite easy to edit. But uh, by the time you get to Half-Life 2 in the 6 engine, it's not quite as simple as it used to be. Um, so the first thing that you do is to load up Half-Life 2. Go to Options. Then keyboard, then advanced, check enable developers console. The little symbol by the side of my console, I mean where it says enable developer console, is that little squiggle, okay? I don't know why it has that, I don't know if that is in the same place as the console key is whatever but anyhow it doesn't actually mean very much because my console key is the one under the esc but anyway that's neither here nor there right so when i press my console key i get that What does it say? Couldn't exec user config CFG, right? CFG config. <laughs> okay, right, never mind. <laughs> That's because I've been playing around with files trying to get this problem sorted out. Because this is one of those things that you just do in your head. I mean, it's not verbal. I, I don't know. You just ask Google and you try stuff. There isn't one way because that's the way computers are you know like people think they're logical but they're um, actually not they're quite intuitive things and I'm just rambling <laughs> right so my my um, key is like a little dot thing of my esc right you need to find out which key is bound to the console the way you're going to do that is by looking inside steam folders till you find the config file and then you're going to check your config file right so go to your steam folder steam apps your name half-life 2 and all this until you get to the cfg file right click on the config file cfg file say you want to open it with notepad when it opens up check for bind whatever toggle to console whatever you want between those two little speech marks really and truly you should have made a backup copy before you start editing anything but as it's only one thing I wouldn't worry too much about it the traditional way to add binds to your game is to make an auto exec config file to do this you open notepad and you're going to save the new file as and it needs speech marks so speech marks then write auto exec dot cfg close speech marks and save this in the config file in half-life 2 in the auto exec file you put in the things that um, you just bind single keys to your cheats so say you want to create a jeep you just have bind then whatever letter and then the code for create jeep to get the auto exec file to run you're going to need to go to the steam menu your basic menu and right click on the game that you've got the exec file for the last thing i have to say is it's been many a year since i've played with a half-life console and um, bound anything so basically if you go to google and you ask let me see what words i use um players half-life 2 if you go to um, their tech pages there's a brilliant description of how to do it much better than my version so go there and good luck <laughs> 